Hi, I'm Jen, and today I'm going to teach you how to create, save, and use your own custom actions in Photoshop. I'm using CS5, but the process is the same with pretty much any edition that you have. So before we start, I would like to point out that this isn't a tutorial on how to take better pictures, a tutorial on how to be the best photographer. It's just a tutorial on how to use a Photoshop technique. So I understand that my bride's arm is cut off here and here. I don't care. That's my style. It's my picture. That isn't part of what we're doing today. So don't feel the need to point out that her arm is cut off because I really don't care. Okay, so let's get started on this action thing. You need to make sure that your actions palette is viewable. So to do that, go to Window and select Actions. And then go in there. So the Photoshop comes with some default actions. I haven't found them to be particularly useful. Um, but there are others that you can download and buy online and load into there. Um, but you can also create your own, which is pretty helpful. So to start, either create a new set where you can put all of your new actions that you're making. I'm going to make it called uh, black and white. And then we can put our new actions right in there by going back up to the selector deal and new action. This one I'm going to call black and white favorite because it's my favorite favorite black and white to run. So you can assign it to a set here. Um, if you want to put it into a different one, that's fine. You can assign it a function key, meaning every time you hit that key, it'll run the action for you. So like F12, F8, whatever you want to do, you can assign it a key. And you can also assign it a color so it's easy to distinguish among your other actions. So hit record. So now our action is recording and every click we make is going to record and run in the future. So now that we're running, let's just start on our thing. I'm just going to do a simple black and white. So we're going to turn the saturation down. And this is just how I like my black and white to do yours. Obviously, however you like to edit yours. I just like mine a little blown out with some, some darker darks. Do, do you can do as many steps as you want in this process. It can be really extensive. It can be really simple. The actions are just designed to save you some time. So even if it's just a one click quick thing, you can do that. So this looks pretty much how I want it. I'm also going to run a quick sharpen. So I'm going to go down here to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, and just do a little bit on there. So there we go. So here's my action. This is what I want it to do every time. I don't need it to do anything crazy. I just want it to do this. So at this point, if you want to have it flatten your image, you can do that. If you want to have it group up these so you can adjust them later on, you can. But if you have it flattened at this point, you're not going to be able to go in and fine tune each setting later on, which is sometimes really helpful. So I'm going to leave mine how it is so I can make some adjustments to the different um, act, the different adjustments later on. So now we'll just hit stop and our action is done. So let's test it on another picture. So this one, so to play an action, you just highlight the action you want and hit play. So there you go. It just runs the action. It has all of the different steps listed here. So if I want to go in and adjust it and turn up the brightness or down the brightness, I can still do that. All right, we're going to test it on a couple more. So there will be situations like this one is a brighter picture where when we run the action, it can get a little blown out. So to adjust this, we can just go back in and fine tune the different steps. Instead of darkening it, we'll just adjust it a little bit. Um, but in general, you want to make an action that's going to work for a variety of pictures, which this one does, and it works pretty well. So that's it. That's how you create an action and then run the action. If you wanted to export this action to share it, just click on the set name and go down to Save Actions, and you can save it however you want. So you can load it to your site and make it available for others, or you can email it to a friend, whatever you want to do. So that's it. I'm Jen, and I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks.